Apple company has an interesting philosophy. They say that every product, every model of the same line has to be thinner, more lightweight and more performance than the one before. Well, Tyler Blake from ExoWhips has the same concept. Everyone was braiding with paracord. And then Tyler started to braid with Dacron. And like I said in one of my earlier reviews, what is Dacron? Well, Dacron is a material which is much thinner than paracord. And believe me, it's much harder to braid. And now this Dacron becomes more and more popular. More and more whip makers are working with this material. The next line, the next step in evolution, Tyler Blake started to experiment with a complete new material. Poly. Flat poly. It's an amazing material. It is extremely thin, it's extremely small and even harder to braid than Dacron. You have to imagine this. Paracord and Dacron is, if you cut it and you magnify the whole thing, it has this shape. It's just round in diameter. That poly is like this. So that makes a very, very, very light weighted whip. But the point is here. Does it make any sense to have a whip so light weighted? What, what is the use for such a whip? There are two aspects. There is good news and there is bad news. We start with the good news. Um, the good news is that it's extremely light weighted. The bad news is it is extremely light weighted. So that brings the whole thing down to a simple question. Brings the whole thing down to the question of personal preference. The construction of the whip is exactly the same like on the whip I reviewed some time ago. The actual whip concept. Well, actually, the actual whip concept is is uh, well, it was invited by Tyler Blake. Very interesting thing. Usually, whips have their uh, the the the, um, the transition area, the stiffening inside. The actual whip has it outside. Therefore, actual whip. And this here is the pulley. It's <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd, I'd like it to take it in your own hand, but well. Um, this is the poly, and this here is paracord. So you have the transition area very well reinforced on the outside. You can have different patterns, different colors, whatever. But about that, talk to the whip maker. Okay, I'm just here to review that one. Um, like I said before, the point is, um, what do you prefer when you say, I like a whip which I can feel every second moving in the air. Mm, like I said, this is a coin with two sides. But if you're out for a whip, which is exactly, which rolls out nice, gives you a clean, nice and clean crack, and takes you, well, no, up to little effort, you know, really very little effort to crack, then I think this could be your cup of tea. So what can you do with such a whip?
if you want more infos on that whip, just go to www.axowhips.com. This is the homepage of Tyler Blake. He's the maker. Well, he, he did not only create the Axo whip, that what I said in, in the last review about Tyler's whips. Therefore, I called it the Tyler Blake style. Um, he, he invented this Axo whip concept and now that poly thing. Like I said before, it's you you really get you really have to get used to it because it's totally unusual, but it's really nice to crack a really good feeling. Like I said, just give it a try. Contact the whip maker and talk with him about the length and the colors and the pattern and a ferrule or not ferrule and so on. So enjoy your whip cracking. Thanks for watching and Goodbye.